Hi everyone, so I'm here with John and Ken, who are representing two brilliant films. One is a short, My Dear Banquet, and Million Loves in Me, which is a feature. Uh, yes. And you're both involved with both these films. John, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much for having us. You're more than welcome. Now, before we get into the synopsis of the films, which we'll get onto now, if you could just tell us, I know your involvement in both these films, but if you could just, just explain for the people that may be watching this, your connection, you know, actor, uh, producer, and so on, with both of these projects. Um, I'm, the pr I'm the producer, actually the, pr the producer, the script writer of both films and uh, also the, the actor of, uh, in, uh, that you will see that I also appear as the lead actor in both films as Perfect. well. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And Ken? And myself, uh, I'm the producer to the feature and also the short. Wonderful, thank you. So someone who would like to tell me the synopsis, again I know these obviously very well, but perhaps one of you would tell me what each story is about. Um, maybe I, I, I will um, give, give a synopsis of the, my, of the short film My Dear Banquet and then Ken will give us a synopsis of the Million Loves in Me, the feature film. For the My Dear Banquet, it's, uh, it's a very simple story. It's about uh, a, a loving son who would like to bring his mother for uh, a, a birthday dinner. But unfortunately, the son is in fi financial difficulties and that he has to um, get money to, to pay for the, for the meal. And this is, uh, I would like to use this uh, story to show the economic situation in Hong Kong. Uh, and when you, when you watch this um, short film, you will see that uh, there are lots of problems uh, uh, in Hong Kong right now. Um, people are employed, uh, some people, they, are, they live within Thai budget. And um, the, even the, the restaurant owner and also the, um, uh, the waiter, they are all having, you know, uh, difficulties themselves and they f and they all people they felt so stressful during the whole dinner except the mother so I think it's quite interesting and a lot of people they appreciate the the, the messages and and the story behind this uh, short film yeah Good, because I know we're gonna move on to this I should just point out which was for me the, the um the defining part of this film that the mother doesn't know, does she? I mean, the, the mother doesn't know. And this is, yeah. for me, that was, I know it's a lot more than that, but that's the part that resonated with me, actually. Because, of course, the guy, like you say, is financially in financial trouble. And, yeah. But, um, yeah, thank you. And, and, yeah, if you could. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, for Million Loves and Me, it's a feature film that um, we want to portray that it's, it's actually a real case, it's a real court case in Hong Kong that took place about uh, 12 years ago. And John was actually the lawyer to the, uh, to the main character of the movie. And um, the movie is portraying two eccentric, uh, flamboyant mother and daughter duo, their abnormal lives. Um, well, to the audience, it might be a little strange, you know, having seen you know, this kind of people, would there be this kind of people in the world? But, um, but actually there is, and that. The, the message behind this uh, film is uh, very deep, actually. Uh, well, it's quite profound. It is quite profound, actually. Yeah, it, it wants us to think twice when we see something. Like, don't, don't see it on the surface. And also, um, there are lots of um, symbols and messages and metaphors in the, in the movie that uh, we want the audience to think about. Uh, about lives, about love, and about... Uh, no, how, how you deal with people generally, you know, in the world. So. It's interesting, sorry John, I want to say it's interesting, there's loads of interesting things, that we could, we'll be here all day if we talk about this, but one thing that immediately comes to mind is, I know, we went into always, yes, you're a lawyer, but suddenly, not suddenly, because this took planning, but yeah, writer, producer, and, but the acting side, that's quite a leap as well, isn't it? So just explain, if you wouldn't mind, being behind the camera is tough, I and mean, in front of the camera is tough, I know mm. that, of course. But for me, the scary part would be being in front of the camera. But how did you come? Because you, I assume you didn't plan, or did you always plan to be an actor? Or did that come later? How did that I always planned to be an actor when I was very young. Yeah. And I, I will, I always uh, like to watch YouTube about the great performances of the of the Oscar winners, and how and how and to imitate their the, the acting in, in those um, winning scenes, what we say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I try to, you know, try my best and try to, I try to be them when I face the camera. 
Because, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I suppose then what happens, like all of us when we're very young, then life gets in the way and you have to go and get a, I hate saying this, a real job, which is patronising. I don't yeah. mean it like that, but suddenly you worry about doing that and you, you take on a profession. But I'm guessing it's something you always were looking back on and thinking about doing. Yeah, I, I, oh, yeah that was my dream when I was young, yeah, to, to make movies, because I started movies a lot. Yeah. And my mother, she brought me to, to cinemas when I was four. And that, uh, because at that time we, we didn't have TV at home, so the, the only w way of entertainment was to go to the cinemas. Wow. And I watched a, lo a number of you know, great movies you know, in Hong Kong at that time, not only, not only the Chinese dramas, but also the Western ones. So I think this, this uh, gave me a very uh, good base um, it, uh, that I like acting, I also like movies. So, so when, I, when, when it came to um, going, going <coughs> to the university, I, I have been thinking of doing, a, um, you know, acting and drama, go to drama school and all that. But unfortunately, my, my parents, they would like me to be a lawyer. And in Hong Kong, and at that time, there was no chance. There was no drama school at that time. And that, that's why I had to fulfill their dreams. But, but now, um, because uh, I, I migrated to Vancouver, and also the, I, um, they passed away. So this is a very good chance for me to, you know, to fulfill my dream. Yeah. And, and th that's what I'm going to pick up on there is, thank you for explaining that, is I've got no reference point to what cinema making was like in Hong Kong 20, 30, 40 years. I've got no idea. But how does it relate to the, the filmmaking in Hong Kong now in terms of what's happened in that, that time period? Because I'm assuming that the film industry in, in Hong Kong is massive now. I, I don't know, mm. but compared to what it was, is, is it possible to explain the changes that have happened? I think in the past, um, the, um, they, the, 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 the audience in Hong Kong, they have more uh, varieties, they have more choices. Um, um, and the, 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 move, the filmmakers, they, they, they are more um, prone to make uh, different types of different gen genres of movies. Yeah. Yeah, and then they, they can do drama, they can also do um, lots of comedies and actions and all that. But right now, um, over these years, I think the, ch the, the changes are that they, they, would, they would like to more focus on some of the specific type of movies, yeah. like uh, actions. Um, Gambling and all that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so it limit the, it, uh, in, in some way it limit the choice of the audience. What yeah. I can say, um, actually, um, I know some of the Hong Kong audience. They they always want to you know, watch different types of films. They they want to have more choices. But unfortunately, maybe it's because of the you know commercial. It's because of the commercial side of the of the industry that the, the filmmakers have to limit. The, the choices of the audience. But, but right now, I think um, this is a good way, this is a good chance that, you know, um, my film, which is an independent film, which won um, uh, a lot of recognitions in the world, and I hope that all the, you know, the, it, it will be a big uproar for the filmmakers in Hong Kong as well. Thank you, because yeah. actually, I, I like, obviously like both films, but your performance in My Dear Bankrupt was actually quite affecting, to be honest. <laughs> really? No, it was, it was, it was, it was quite nuanced and you could see the struggle that he was going through and I, yeah. I, I mean, I like the performance, like I said, both films, but that one stood out for me, even though it's a short, you know, and I can see that how you've kind of honed the craft, so it's really well acted, thank you. So, Kent, how do you two, I know we've spoken before, but people won't know this, yeah. but if you could probably, so I might be repeating a question or two, but how do you two know each other? Well, we knew each other for a long time, actually. So you've worked yeah. in law before? No. Well, yeah. Maybe you can explain. We are, we are partners, yeah. Right, yeah, okay. Yeah, we are partners. We are life partners. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm so yeah. sorry. I didn't realize it was not my business. No, no, no. no, no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, life partners. We, we don't, we, don't we, 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 are, we are proud to, to tell because when we do, when we do the, uh, did the Golden Group screenings, right. some of the HIPM members they also ask about our relationship. Yeah. yeah. Right. And it's, it's very common, you know, you know in, in Hollywood and also in the film industry. Yeah, that yeah. you know, uh, life partners they, they work together. Some 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 of them do, some do a part. Of, yeah. Some uh, as producers, some as actors or screenwriters. Yeah, yeah. and we know a lot. We of complement the, each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right. yeah well, it's, as I said, I wouldn't have asked none of my business, but it was just. Yeah. I, I, I was more a case of I was from a professional point because I made the assumption that you know you met through 
doing some work together. And yeah, we, we work on the movies together. Yeah, we work yeah. on. Yeah. We work on uh, not only my day banquet and then uh, this feature. We we also have another short. And, yeah, uh, coming. Yeah, yeah, there is another short that's yeah. coming yeah. very soon. Very soon, and, and we then, will submit uh, it to uh, to Fusion International Film Festival yes, thank as you. well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and see whether it will be accepted as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, look, the thing yeah. is that um, it goes without saying that the support of filmmakers is our lifeblood. I mean, it's, it's it's everything we are. Although personally, for me, I, meeting the filmmakers is the big thing for me because I'm really, as you know, I love doing it, but. Well, yeah, we've had amazing support, and uh, I totally appreciate it. It's, it's just been absolutely amazing. So, who's the hardest working out of you two? In, in, come on, professionally. Oh, wow, in this film. Is, is it it's John? definitely John. You reckon? Oh, yeah, no. because, you know, as a producer, as a screenwriter, as an actor, you know, he's the, 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 the heart right. to all the projects, basically. Because yeah. I have the passion of doing films that's yeah. why I, I, I don't mind yeah you know it, during and, every and every bit you know yeah and he has got all the interesting stories as well <laughs> oh, <laughs> like okay. through, through his practice as a lawyer yeah. for how many years and also years, people right? um, 20 years yeah 20 years and also people right? that I come across yeah you know, there are many interesting Came stories yeah. yeah interesting people right? many interesting people yeah of you course know. Yeah. yeah I mean uh, I know lawyers know me yeah. I know the amazing people so the the journey of making, becoming a filmmaking, I don't know if you're still involved in law, maybe you've given all that up, I, I, I don't know, but is, because I know the workload is very tough, is the workload that you experience what you thought it would be, or is it turned out to be a lot harder than you thought it would be? I think it is a lot... Uh, well, it's not as difficult for, for, as... It's not it, as difficult yeah, as doing as law. Thought, yeah. And for filmmaking, I think yeah. um, it is a very good experience. I enjoy every moment. Yeah. For the acting part, I think it is much easier than I thought it would be. Really? Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, okay. That's oh, interesting. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> that, maybe, that, maybe the scenes are, are not that, you know, because we, we, this is a drama. But when so I see you in the next Star Wars film with a lightsaber, and you said I was running around on set, and it was like physically difficult, I won another. Yeah, maybe maybe when, when, when I get a more challenging role, yeah, yeah. I, I will then have to say it is much difficult, much more difficult than I thought it would be. Yeah. But do you enjoy the acting side more than the, the producing side? And the, so in other words, do you prefer behind the camera more or in front of the camera? I enjoy, um, I can say I enjoy more than the, the acting side. Right. Because if somebody give me an acting, you know, contract, then and, and I would just concentrate, you know, on the acting part, and then once after the acting, I can just go right, yeah. and then just wait for the um, for those uh, promotional events. But for uh, producing, it is it, the journey is much more, you know, tedious yeah. because you have we have to go through or we have to manage. All those uh, all people, other people, the crew, the crew. yeah, the build and up, the expectations, the post, the yeah, 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 the production, you know. the, the post-production part, yeah, yeah, post -production yeah part. and uh, because I and previously I didn't have any experience, then I have to work with the editor and all that, you know, to to give. And now comments, you're going, yeah. oh my god, yeah, because yeah. I know the workload. Is and that. also the marketing part, right? Yeah, yeah, of yeah, course. So, yeah. so this is, uh, and also I have to deal with, you know, sometimes uh, difficult people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when yeah. Know, working yeah. a project with uh, over a hundred people, then you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There yeah. Are, you, you definitely you will know, come across difficult people, right? <laughs> now, if you don't mind, so I know quite a lot um, um, about me and loves in me, but I'd I'd like, if it's possible, can you explain to me how the idea? Of, I know I know there's there's struggle financially with lots of people in in Hong Kong that you alluded to, but actually, what what's the kernel is? Because I'm guessing there something happened that, that made you want to really tell the story? What, what was the event that made you decide this is the, the next story I want to tell? Or be involved in, it might be better to say. You mean the next one or the, or the No, my dear scene? banquet is, is so... My, oh, my, my dear banquet. Yeah, that's yeah. It, what I'm trying to get at is, I know it's all about financial struggle with this particular person, mm. and, and I, I didn't realise it was quite... There was that level in Hong Kong, but... What drove you to become involved? Because I'm assuming there was an event, or you knew about it, or you wanted to talk about it. How did it all come about? Because it is a short, it is a um, a short film. Then uh, this is the first uh, short film, and I had to limit myself to you know 12 to 18 minutes of work. And then I I I I've been thinking that um, whether there's something that is most related to Hong Kong, you know, audience, and uh, and that audience would like to you know, watch this um, to to, to to, um, 
attract audience to watch this uh, 12 to 18 minutes uh, uh, short film. I think that the economic um, struggle of Hong Kong people is the most uh, is most related to them, you know, because lots of lots of pe Hong Kong people they are really, you know, they are having this economic struggle every day, and I, I do I do really want them to think about it and also um, that because a lot of Hong Kong people they are, may have may, they might have the financial resources they might have time they may not have the heart or they may not have the have the uh, 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 have the uh, mind to um, buy a, a birthday dinner for their for their parents, not, not only mother. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I would like them, you know, to give um, to have you know more awareness of their parents, and and also on these special days. Yeah. No, thank so, you. Yeah, that's thank why you. when when we uh, show this film, you know, on the on the net, there's there are a lot of um, uh, comments from the audience uh, saying that oh, uh, they 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 really. Yeah, ignore that. Yeah, yeah, yeah they have been, been through, all, been these through all these experiences, and uh, so yeah. they they got very um, touched so by, by this. Uh, no, I, you, yeah. I found it quite affecting. I really did. Yeah. So, Ken, um, what strengths do you bring to this? Your the industry you're in. You know, what would you say that you? Well, not necessarily is your favourite thing, but the thing that you think you you are best at doing when it's when you're involved in the filmmaking process. Just asking you about the. Um, because Ken is uh, his background is in finance. finance. Oh, so, so yeah, you know, I think he, is the he best knows person. how to yeah. you the know the money, yeah. right? How can the finance money. guy so control the budget. Okay, so <laughs> okay, so you, I'm assuming the first thing you say is, oh, I want to make a film, uh, a short film, no. ten minutes long, and the, the very first question he's going to say is, how much are they going to cost? Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely, yeah, <laughs> okay. definitely. You definitely have to look at the budget side as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And are you good at keeping it under budget? This is a thing. Yeah, yeah. and even control it within budget is very difficult. Yeah, I've heard because, this. Yeah, because you, you don't know that something's going to happen in the middle of the shooting and then, you know, it's, it will just you know, go over budget so easily. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. Have to, you have to be on the set and you know, look, at, look at things and, you know. Well, we have yeah. a saying, which I mean, yeah. you've probably got an equivalent, men plan and God laughs. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, because the thing is, you just can't account for things that just happen. It's impossible. Yeah. And we had to interview a few production companies mm -hmm. and see oh. wh which one is the right fit and which one um, provides the budget which is within our, you know, our uh, uh, plans. Yeah. And this is a thing that, that I love talking about because, um, as I said to another filmmaker earlier, 99% of all most people see is the glitz and glamour. Yeah, and all know about, but the truth is, I know, well, you know better than I do, it's actually bloody hard work. Yeah. yeah and it is to even, to make an eight or ten minute film, there was a girl I was talking to earlier, and she's from Hong Kong actually, and she said, oh, it took something like four months to put it all together. You know, the planning, the casting, the shooting. Yeah. The shooting was only three days, but then yeah. the post, and of course, I know that, yeah. but I like to, to um, sort of concentrate on that quite often because I know it's, People need to understand just how difficult mm, it is. Yeah. And I know yours, particularly with Mighty Bank, it was basically interior shots, wasn't it? It was basically an inside shot. But even then, I'm guessing it still took a long time to plan it, a long time to write mm. it, a, long, a few days maybe to shoot, but then you got the post. So it just, it is a long process. It is a long process, yeah. So that's why I appreciate the work of every filmmaker, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because every, definitely every, every, everyone, every, um, a work being officially selected in the film festival. Um, yeah, they put uh, their heart. They put their, heart, they, they put their, their, their time, they put their, all the energy into this work. So I appreciate every work. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, gentlemen. That was Thank wonderful. You. I will talk to you as, as always. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.